Welcome back to Seat Story Cup number three. Artosis and Kriparian joined mm -hmm. by the one, the only, the man, the myth, the legend, life coach. Hey, yeah. How are you doing, man? Yeah, good stuff. Yeah, you would already. You, would you be doing better as a player right well, now? Well, actually, I'm feeling um, after rusting today, I'm feeling better than after winning the games yesterday. Okay. Because like yesterday, I misplayed, and today I think it was okay. But I mean, being a little bit more unlucky. So is, is, it, is it better to? To win and play badly, or to lose and play well. A 100 percent to play well and to lose is better, like 100 times better. What than if you just can't win anything, but you play really well all the time? Perfect. Just keep on doing it. I, I kept on doing it last year. Okay, there has to be I a like limit it. to that. There, there's. I don't think there's a limit. <laughs> I think this is a Zen man right here, and he knows what life is about. Okay. It's about high skill. Uh, speaking of which. When Maverick beat you, he took your number one spot on Gosu Gamers. Oh. I'm sorry. Yeah. But he is on a killing spree. He won both his groups. Mm -hmm. He's in the round of four. Uh, obviously, you've had to play against him. Do you think that he's the favorite out of these four players or what? Hmm. Yeah, that's difficult to say. Yeah. I think it really also depends on the classes mm -hmm. those players bring. Okay. We'll take a look at that in just a second here. First, we want to show you guys something uh, because, of course, without sponsors... These tournaments are nothing. I just want to mention that uh, Maverick and Orange are completely undefeated so far in this tournament. Completely? Orange mm -hmm. won both his groups? Yeah. I thought he got second in group. Oh, did he? I thought so. Oh. We'll take a look at that okay. in a second. But first off, guys, go to taketv.net. Scroll down a little bit. Look, there we are. Aren't we handsome men? Uh, click yeah. on this Kingwin thing. And over here, you're going to look for a Maz with a sombrero on. It's actually okay, four it's not dudes. This page. Okay, there's more than just a mods, but he's the main one. You've, you've been like misinform misinforming people, you know. There's like I think <gasps> there's four. Oh wait, I thought I found him for a second there. Oh my god, look, it's life coach. Uh, <laughs> oh, there's Maz. life coach too. There's, there's a Maz. <laughs> Holy crap, that, that's him. Looks like you have some pro league matches coming up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what do we win? <laughs> Pretty tough ones. <laughs> well, uh, if this was actually them with the. Uh, the sombreros on. Oh, you need the sombrero on top of yes. the Amaz? Okay. Yes. Go to facebook.com forward slash take TV and you just scroll down a little bit, find this post with all the uh, this stuff and it'll See, show you how to put it that's in. That's Forsen. I think that's Frodan. That's Amaz and that, that could just be anyone. That could be absolutely anyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's actually take. So, okay. Anyways, guys, uh, go ahead, put that in and you can win a 20 euro balance or a uh, Hearts on card packs, so mm -hmm. that's pretty awesome. Let's check out those groups real quick. All right, go ahead. I'm, I'm pretty sure... Uh, if these guys are both orange. undefeated, that's pretty pretty crazy. Oh, no, Orange did come second. Okay, so Orange is not a perfect human like Maverick, but I do have the classes for mm -hmm. both. Uh, for Maverick, we're going to have Warrior, Hunter, Paladin, Warlock, Druid, and for Orange, Warlock, Druid, Hunter, Rogue, Mage. So oh, a couple different. Mm -hmm. What would you say, Life Coach, in your expert opinion? No, which ones are different? Like Warrior and Orange does have Mage. Yeah, he has Mage over that. And on this side, it's Paladin, Paladin and Rogue. And Rogue. Yeah. yeah, I both, would say like... Paladin and Rogue have been a bit inconsistent in the, in the contest. It's like the people who have Rogue don't have Paladin, and the people that have yeah. Paladin don't have Rogue. Yeah. yeah. I guess the classes from Orange are in general pretty... Hmm. I think okay against this warrior, right? We, we actually know that Orange is playing Tempo Mage. That was the deck he was struggling yes, that's to, actually to get a win with yeah. uh, in the earlier match. Yeah. We'll have to see what the bands are like. Yeah, I am I am uh, wondering about that. And I don't remember if Orange brought the uh, the new Zoo Lock that some people have, or if he's still uh, sticking to the slow Warlock. I don't, I oh, was don't his, remember. his Warlock was banned last time? Uh, I think no, his rogue his was, banned. was banned last yeah, time. I just so. don't remember what, what was in it. Yeah, the... Oh, it was Zoo, if I recall correctly. Yeah, he was the first... Yeah, oh, the first he was playing match. the first match. So, Okay, it looks like we're going to have Druid from Orange going Maverick up against Warrior. Warrior. And the bands are... Okay, the Warlock is gone for Orange. Mm -hmm. And... Oh, Hunter gone for Maverick. All right, so now... What would you guys say? Who's who's just favored looking at this right now on paper? And I guess you got to take into consideration Druid should have a little edge over. Yeah, wire, then right? then Orange is probably yeah. favorite. No? Yeah. You think so? I mean, he really didn't want to face with a hunter the warrior, but yeah, if it's with the Druid, it's completely fine. Like he's a huge favorite here. Yeah, I think 
I think Orange just has two decks that can tank. Like, we've seen Rogue tank a lot at this tournament. Okay. Even though Orange hasn't. And we've seen his mage already tank a few games today. Yeah, his, his mage deck has been his weak deck for when we were casting him earlier. Okay, but in general, like, Rogue should be super fine against Paladin, okay yeah. against Warlock and Druid. So, it's... I think it can really only have big problems against this warrior. And, yeah, I mean, the that's warrior's about it. Huh. Okay. So... I've actually thought about this. Is it actually good to lose a game in in some situations in Conquest because you need the deck to kill another deck? Uh, no, it's dominated, right? I mean, if you can take the win right away... I mean, um, you can't use the deck anymore. Like, what if no, what if Warrior was the only deck that could beat his rogue? Is it Wouldn't it be good to lose his Warrior against his No, no, be, because it's better to have the win right away. It's 100% better, right? It's like... I, I see what's being said here. Like... Okay, if the only deck that he has in his lineup that can beat that rogue deck, all the other decks are like 10% or something to win, but the warrior deck's like 60% to win, would it be better for him to lose this and use the other decks yeah. and then use warrior? Yeah, I, I got the question. What I'm saying yeah. is the warrior can only get one win. So yeah. it it's obviously strictly dominated better that he wins now than if you lose on purpose, give the druid a win to then win with the warrior. The warrior can yeah. only get one yeah, win. Yeah, I, I, I definitely agree with you, I, but I, I like the question. That, but, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that because in general, Druid, like, if nothing goes wrong, Druid should simply win. Yeah. Oh. Because they simply out-tempo, out-value. The shield slams are really not um, dealing with big questions. So actually everything what makes the warrior good is counterfeited by the Druid. Especially yeah. by these. Nice. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. I really liked the way it was put to me back when I first started playing Hearthstone. Mm -hmm. Right? The uh, With Druid, you just play your stuff, go oh, to face, I think this and is a Warrior takes his That's face into your stuff as well. Which one? Because oh, he, chose the the death spite, he chose the wrong one. The Death Spite won't hit the, the creature that came out. Ooh. Ooh. That is a yeah, pretty yeah, big yeah. misplay. It turns out that it makes no difference, but uh, it, it could have had a big repercussion if it was like a 4-1 or something. Oh, it can yeah. still make a difference. Yeah, it's yeah. still... That's, it's I a 3-2 instead of a 3-1. It's mm -hmm. huge. I mean, depending on what or, it does. Yeah, it it, yeah, I don't know how they choose which Shredder gets which minion. Like, the one that died first, was it always going to get the, the Mad Bomber? I don't know. <laughs> I don't understand Shredder programming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, well... Um, Orange can get a decent trade here with a Savage Roar, but is it worth using one? I think well, so, actually. Two. Savage Roar, the Bomber kills the Sludge Belcher, the Druid kills the Remainder, the creature hits for four face. And then you want the Wild Cross, or...? I, I guess. I don't I don't know. <laughs> uh. <laughs> no, I guess it's fine. Yeah. I just don't see a Sludge Belcher working very well but here. No, no. 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 <laughs> and that's the only other option, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I like it too. What about big game? Do you wild growth or... No. It's, it's a warrior deck, correct? Yeah, but having another creature on board is a lot of damage with Savage Roar in hand. Yeah. Uh, what? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. oh, the BGH. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you... It's interesting. Okay, he does go with the BGH. All right. I'm interested by that. And it's pretty sick because uh, it's quite a gambit, right? Yeah. 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 I mean, against warrior. it's like, Oh, he if he scouted, he knows that Merrick doesn't run any BGH targets. Of course, you go BGH. Merrick doesn't run BGH targets, right? I don't know. In his warrior, I don't think so. We have never oh. seen yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, we haven't of seen Of course he goes BGH. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Maverick, okay. Does, like, BGH is useless against Maverick. And That's so it's, really it's cool. Yeah. So he doesn't even have Alex Straws in there? I don't I, I don't think so. I haven't wow, seen any. Wow, wow. So maybe like only Gromash possibly, but he's a kill anyways. That's... I mean, he runs stuff like... Uh, what is this? You Super Shredder? The 6 9 like the five nine. Oh, the uh, yeah, 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 five the nine, giant, the, shredder, yeah. the guy that scares Sneeds, crows away. Sneeds old shredder. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 the Reaper. The Reaper. Oh, the Reaper. Yeah, yeah. The Reaper. Yeah, yeah. oh that one. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. I can't believe yeah. he's running that. That's awesome. That card's Give me this pretty good against the Blackrock bosses. <laughs> yeah, I guess he would be. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess it's only nature to play the VGH. Yeah, sure. yeah. Wow. I mean, I'm sure oh, Orange did this card. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, for Reaper. Yeah. Well, 
Does have that Ysera in hand as well, another non bgh Another target. non-factor for Druid, I believe. When the Warrior's at 12 life, yeah. he yeah. can play as many yeah. Ysera's as he wants. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. It's really interesting, right? I mean, if Warrior can stabilize, then... He, he'll win if he can stabilize. No, no, he simply wins, yeah. Not a whole lot of cards in hand right now for Orange. Oh, there oh. we go! A turn late. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, how sick is that? Like you're forced to brawl now, and and you can be bad. Like you can just take eight damage. That is possible. No, yeah, but I think I mean it's fine, right? You simply attack the badger, you brawl, and then you get whatever. Yeah, actually, it's it, like perfect, right? If a bomb lives, you steal a bomb. I, 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 and he just got shield block. Like I think Wario simply wins now. Okay, yeah, yeah because yeah, yeah. shield block. Like it's it's super. Big. Unless he top decks like uh, Force of Nature, yeah. But actually, there could be a taunt left over. Mm. In fact, if let's say that like a bomb wins, doesn't Sylvanas have to choose between the bomb and the the little Belcher? Actually, no, no. Uh, uh, he attacks the Belcher first, oh, so of course, the little yeah. Belcher uh, okay. is not there. Do yeah. Doctor Boom surviving, I think, is the best outcome. And depending on the bomb hits, oh, he sh he sh I, I don't think she sh he should do that. He should simply attack. Brawl yeah, the shield and, uh, block uh, yeah. is important here. No, also, it doesn't matter who wins the brawl. Oh, he does it first. What, why? I don't know. Uh, what? What? Really? What? What? Okay. Dr. Boom. Yeah, that's all. Uh, is that better than the brawl? I'm not sure. Because with so few cards in hand, and he has to know that some, some of that spells because of the yeah, way it's yeah, been yeah. played. Like, you're never going to have a better brawl, right? Uh, I would also say so. Huh. Also, also Sylvanas utilization. Like, you could utilize your Sylvanas yeah. pretty big time. Well, Savage huh. Roar adds uh, another six damage. Makes it eight, yeah. nine with the the bots. That's that's actually lethal uh, if he rats one of the bots for one and keepers the other bomb. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. there, there is a You're way very, that Orange kills very, the warrior this turn. It's very quite creative. It's not impossible. <laughs> hmm. I maybe throw a silence down here. Um, okay. Doesn't look like he's going for your play crit. I kind of yeah. liked the uh, wrath on the on the armor smith. And just a savage roar, like. Yeah. That see. Oh, four see? damage! Oh. Wow. See? oh, that could have been lethal. Wow. <laughs> Here comes a missed lethal attempt. Another four. Why? Uh, it's oh. oh. Okay. Maybe almost. Oh almost. man! Look at all that armor. Yeah, but still. Hmm. I mean, would you not just go for it? Like, and not not for your play, but <laughs> like <laughs> like trying to apply the pressure. I'm not sure. Because uh, like now it's it's kind of hard to get savage roar value. Well, not when you draw a force of nature, I guess. But yeah, okay. He's gonna get way out of range by then. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I feel like I would remove that. You're not near dying. I feel like if you didn't die last turn to force of nature, you just uh, you Sarah. Oh really? Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh. oh my, one card off. Oh. <laughs> too little, too late. All right, that Ysera talk, uh, forget, forget <laughs> about that. Uh. Yeah, I was also wondering. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sick draw. Wow. Whoa. I was the Valkyros. That's <laughs> insane. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Into more draw. Oh, man. Yeah, it's Silence Echo, oh, for sure. Safeguard. Okay. He clears the echo light. Mm. Well, you still got that combo. <laughs> You're gaining all this health, though. Okay, now you could actually Ysera. Ysera execute. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that seems quite good. If you even want to execute. Yeah, I guess you would uh, need to. I mean, you don't have to with the Taskmaster and stuff. I mean, I wouldn't. I mean, you don't die, so... Um. Mm. You live no matter what. Mm. Ooh. what to do? If he gets an innervate here, that's huge. 
Yeah, that would be a nice draw. In a red draw. <laughs> oh, Druid oh. doesn't play. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, we saw yeah, that's this right. in the, in the We saw him draw that before. He but he, he drew it the turn that he won, <laughs> so <laughs> it didn't do anything. Mm. Not a... Uh, it's really cool to see. You, yeah, actually, when you hover over the card, they specifically don't see it on, on the stream. Yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> Look at that, guys. 2-5 two, minion, 2-2. Two, two. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, no, no, the execute comes. Mm -hmm. Much more useful there. Oh boy. Yeah, this warrior is getting pretty scary now. Yeah, it's pretty over. Yeah, and if he oh, wins no. here with the warrior in this, oh, okay. this matchup that we were talking about should be really favored for Druid. That's uh that's pretty tough. I think there's definitely some some play left. Yeah. No. Oh, But that is going to be a two-turn Tarzan out. Okay. Like, the Warriors at 20 life. The Druid has 20 over two turns here. <laughs> 21 over two turns. I have a feeling that he's going to clear some of this, though. Yeah, but he might, he might think it's a good idea to use a weapon. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, even though always play around like one combo. Yeah, but do you play around one and a half combo? <laughs> that's kind of the question. Like it's yeah, not yeah. it's not really decided yet. If you get a swipe, that's one and two thirds combo. Mm. Mm. Yeah. 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 I know what I'm talking about. It's actually a little bit more than that. Yeah, slightly. Ten, ten out of fourteen. Five out of seven. Not bad. One and five sevenths combo. Are you happy? Yeah. Alright. Sounds good. Okay. Oh, look at that. Yeah, he's using that weapon. Hmm. Um. Ooh. Really come in here? No, you're right. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, wow. <laughs> it, and it's, uh. It, you watch, oh, just draw it's, it's, it's one of lethal next turn, right? It's still one of lethal. So okay, it's like, eight. he needs something from his... 23, yeah. It's, it's one of lethal. Still one off lethal. I mean, he can... Wow. What the fuck? <laughs> wow. I mean, that's He insane, might actually right? just I mean, like, straight win, wow. yeah. Like, what do you even... But, like, the warrior needs to top take now. It's yeah. crazy. Th this is wild. <laughs> no, it really is. Like, <laughs> I, I would have also not thought that he uses a weapon being in such an advantageous position. Yeah. Like, I would always, like, attack with uh, Emperor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh man! I'm pretty Ooh. good at, at predicting strange plays that don't work yeah. out very well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, that's insane! Wow! I cannot believe this. And no, even if neither. he armors up, like he needs like a taunt, wow. or he needs he's one damage or a taunt. Yeah. Oh! oh. Whoa! I can't even believe if it. Both keepers are down. That's important. Yeah. If both, keepers both keepers down. Yeah. What can yeah, you that's even insane. get us that, That's insane. Like it's over now. Wait. No, you if he there's only the combo the roar. No, yeah. not e not even the combo roar because you would die to the one damage. He used roar already. Oh no, he didn't attack. If he doesn't attack, then combo roar does work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't. If, yeah, if, yeah, yeah. if he yeah, did yeah, attack, yeah, yeah. if he did attack with the weapon, you couldn't clear the, the yeah, slime because yeah, you you'd kill yeah, 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 yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd be at one. Exactly. Oh, so that's you another can't. misplay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Roar, come on. Let's do if it. He gets one time. One time. Whoa. So sick. So sad. I feel like Maverick just cut it way too close. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That definitely did not have to go in his favor, man. But he wins the Warrior vs. Druid There's match. only seven cards left yeah. in the deck. Wow. wow. And what was left besides the Belcher? He, I, I'm guessing he plays Grom, even though it's a BGH target. But who are we yeah, kidding? Yeah, no, no. That's it, yeah, yeah, that's pretty for sure. insane. Yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Four attack. <laughs> well, uh, that was really that's a pretty big win for Maverick, I would say, mm. to to win that straight up. I, I really feel like Orange played better, though, if we're going by, by life coach status. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. But, uh. Well, the only mistake Maverick made, though, would have been using that weapon to clear right over Tarzan. It, no, it's also not attacking face in the last turn. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, but these are like... Of course, from our perspective, these are like huge misplays, or huge misplays, because we know there's only one out. But uh, I think from his perspective, mm. um, I mean, sometimes you don't think about stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, so yeah. it's like 
also it needs Orange to have the second force of nature. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know whether he did the scouting, but mm -hmm. usually you only run one. So. Oh no! Wait, hold on. Orange is dead. He used Savage Roar like in the first like four turns or something. Oh, he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he did. Yeah, it's true. Oh. He already used both. Yeah. yeah. All right. There wow. was no out there. It yeah. was still exciting. <laughs> still exciting. <laughs> he used both keepers and both Savage Roars. Okay. So the second one was uh, us just being dumb. Oh, we actually had Ma Maverick's classes off. Hold on a second. I'm sorry. Oh, he didn't run Paladin. He ran Rogue. Okay. Okay, okay. So that changed a little bit. I'm going to smash some pumpkins here. That makes their yeah, lineup a lot closer. It's almost identical. Yeah. Well, we have Rogue versus Hunter. Yeah, just Mage Warlock were the only differences then. Okay. Huffer? Huffer? That's not a Huffer. Eh. I guess Huffer got backstabbed, huh? Yeah. Leok's fine. <laughs> I think Leok's still getting uh, killed here. Yeah, you definitely could. Oh, no, you... Yeah. All right, so uh, actually let's talk about this a little bit. We haven't actually seen this matchup very much yet in this tournament, even though you would have think we would have seen it a bit more. But yeah. there's, uh, there's actually like very few hunters because uh, the ones that people expect, they get crushed because they prepared for them. Yeah. And uh, the ones that uh, people don't prepare for just get banned. Yeah. That was actually a second really great pick from Orange. Like, first he chose, like, Druid and really catch the Warrior yeah. just on the run. And now he actually could exactly pick with his Hunter the Rogue, which is just, like, so insane. Mm -hmm. Like, it's so important. But uh, it's not working out so far. No, this hand is not oh. the best hand that I've seen, for sure. Uh, let's give the Rogue some mana. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, usually, usually Hunter has, like, an insane matchup. By the way, but I see a Gadget Zon. Yeah. <laughs> Huh. It's pretty good to have that extra mana crystal. Mm. Huh. It pretty much makes them like the pre-nerf one. <laughs> kind of, yeah. Yeah, but it sometimes can go really fast. I mean, if you take a look at the rogue, he's already at 19. Then he eats like perhaps another whatever, 4. And then he goes to 15. Perhaps he takes another 8. Like, it goes super quick. Yeah, yeah. Without yeah. heal. And it's going to. like his hand. For example, now. Now it's another oh. 8. So it's like 15, right? It goes super fast. Oh, do you play Arcane Goma? I think you play a trap. Do you want a hero power every turn? Trap and shoot, or, or do you play I don't fast? think you don't need a hero power anymore. Like oh, okay. the life total is already too small. Yeah, and yeah. with the cards you have in hand, mm -hmm. yeah, that hero power might finish off like the last four or something. But right now, I just go maximum damage. Okay. All right. <laughs> well. Well, I it's guess, yeah, we may as well start drawing. Hopefully he has some heal bots in there did, or something. Did you like, like, uh, for example, Quickshot and Hero Power more? Because that's more damage. And more mana utilization. Like, two more damage. And then playing the bow with Hero Power I, instead. The, the double Quickshot Hunters, I've seen them played, like, you just remove everything from your hand as fast as possible and you intentionally Quickshot last. Oh, yeah, sure, but I'm saying the damage is already enough. Yeah. Like, yeah. Five damage and it's rogue on fourteen, so you don't need the additional cards. Like if you empty your hand, you win. Yeah, yeah. So I think it's just okay. two more damage. Also, yeah, if he plays, yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's more mana efficient as well. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, I guess with a bow out, like if the game lasts an extra turn because he has the explosive trap. Maybe he's planning on that for one more bow hit for three more damage or something. Oh yeah, sure, but then you cannot attack with it. So it, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, I think yeah, it's you're right. Okay. I mean, I'm not an hunter expert, like not an acro hunter expert. Yeah. But it no, seems a, like more damage. Like I you're a sunshine like, uh, hunter expert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's if I kind of like explosive trap, and I feel if you play explosive trap, you play unleash this turn because you won't get more than four. Yeah. Push. Sure. Mm. So explosive unleash. I like it too. And the four dog is go face. Yeah. 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 And you let the bow stay or not? Yeah, I think you just leave the bow. It's, uh, I guess, if you draw like another bow or a glaive zuka, you're gonna feel a little bit sad. But you, like you also prevent the rogue from attacking you in some cases. Yeah, which is like just gives you another turn. That's true. Yeah, also we see that um, that Maverick's hands is really like consisting not of any bursts. So yeah, mm -hmm. it's really like super over. Mm -hmm. it certainly is. Like usually we press the button. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is a quick one. 
No, it's gonna be Blade Flurry into Top Deck Kazan. <laughs> wow, that would be so sick. <laughs> oh, he runs Kazan? I don't think so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think Crypt's full of it right now. You gotta use your imagination, man. <laughs> Yeah, Lothar doesn't have any, so. Hmm. All right, this is like, <laughs> Maverick is so dead right now. Oh, yeah. I see. It looks like he's thinking really hard, but I think he's just wondering what he's going to have for lunch or something, because he already <laughs> knows this game is done, man. You don't come back like this. <laughs> if you do juggler, you do scientist, or do you... Mm, I, I think scientists. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. then you use your hero power. Mm. Otherwise, the golem yeah, just but gets that, killed. That just suggests that you actually have more than one type of trap, which we don't. Like, do we know if that's actually true? I don't think he even cares about that part. No. Like, of course, it'll be removed, but whether or not he has the trap, Wait, I think it's did the more about go exiting face? the hand. No way. Yeah, he did. Well, Oh my god. <laughs> That's disgusting. We were like talking over here, just didn't realize all the nastiness that was happening. Yeah, yeah. Seems fair to me. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I doubt he's playing another trap other than that. I'm ready to learn. Yeah. These poor violent apprentices. They don't know what's about to happen to them, man. This guy's like, all right, I'm here. Let's do this. Just following the teacher's orders. Yeah. You know? <laughs> you know what would have been really funny is if he had a snake trap, and now he has to attack the, the knife juggler. He's like, oh, why yeah. did I do that? I mean, the win scenario here is attack face and hope the hunter has zero damage and three cards. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It has to be like Argent Squire, Abusive Sergeant, Abusive Sergeant. That's that's it, right? Yeah, I was even wondering about the Argent Squire. Like, is it common? Like, yeah, he played a turn one. Yeah. If you play yeah. one, you might play oh, two. I didn't. Oh, okay. sure. I think he probably just expected more face hunters here. Yeah, it's just really good in that mirror. Oh, it's true. Well, it looks to me, guys, like he has enough damage. Yep, and it's confirmed by the game. That I prediction was spot on. <laughs> yep. But 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 the thing is, like, uh, didn't Orange like ban the Hunter from the memory? So, mm. like, Merrick is playing face hunter, but it yeah. doesn't help if he ban it. Yeah. I mean, the Argent Squires. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a good point. Well, maybe he just wasn't afraid of another class. I don't... I don't know. I mean, I guess, you know, Orange is known for being uh, quite a good rogue player. Mm. Okay. So, he might be looking at something like mm -hmm. that. Is This is, like, the deck that's going to annoy him. And... Yeah, like the Temple Mage probably isn't going to do too well against that. Oh, no, Flame no, Cannon I, I, against Creeper Tokens isn't very good, right? Actually, let's, let's, let's look at that. Huh. What does the Tempo Mage beat right now? The Druid? Yep. Does it? I guess. Yeah. Kind of. And kind of. I don't know what Warlock... You said it was Demon Lock, right? That he's playing? Yeah, yeah, Maverick. kind of. No, no, sorry. It's a Handlock. Oh, hand -lock. it's Handlock. Okay. Well, yeah. not really then. No. No, no. no. But it's probably okay against Rogue, right? Uh, no, not really. Oh, you, uh, because Blade, Mech Blade Flurry just destroys everything. Yeah, because Mech Mech is quite good against Rogue. Yeah, this is it, mm. it, this one is not fast though at all. It's like oh, it's much it's like slower. flame cannon. It's like yeah, it's oh, like okay. you, you get you get control with a frostbolt or a flame cannon in in the early game, but mm -hmm. the, the Rogue has no minions. The okay. minions themselves are quite few. Yeah, then it doesn't help too much. Yeah, yeah. it's true. All right, Druid versus Rogue again from uh, Maverick. Mm -hmm. So the two losing decks are going to go at it. <laughs> what is this like? Huh? I usually feel like the the Druid has the edge if they get a little bit of ramp. And uh, that's the little bit. Yeah. Um, these Druids, are they replacement for Shades? or? I, they must be. I haven't seen a Shade in this deck yet. I How do you like that card, good. actually? I was no, no, it's not. <laughs> well, probably it's it's, not. it's okay in Arena. Any card that's okay in Arena is <laughs> <It's> terrible <laughs> in Constructed. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I mean, he, he won't have any beast synergy, right? Yeah. Well, he does have a really cool card. Look look at that. That's a, that's a glowing fire yeah, bird. show the stream with that. Look at that. How intimidating wow. is that? Whoa. Druid of Flame. Yeah. Crazy. 
So you don't you don't think this card's any good, life coach? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. I think this card is great. Like if you attack face twice, it's as if you played a shade and held off two turns. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah. And um, I mean, the five two is like never an option, right? Yeah. I do. So I'm trying to imagine. In arena, it is. Oh, okay, yeah. Because if enough. both players have no cards, you draw that, you play five and two, and you kill their five drop. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Fair enough. But um, in Constructed, it's... Yeah, no. No. No chance. <laughs> and especially not against Rogue, I yeah. guess. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you play I a was creature with two to health. It. <laughs> yeah, I, I which, don't know. Which kill card should I use? Uh. All right. But he attacks, so he takes some damage. Yeah, Ooh, all, all this damage turn. just adds up. I mean, he's one part of the combo, so it could get faster than expected sometimes. Mm. Yeah. Actually, I actually think Sylvanas into Ancient Allure is just a lot of pressure for the rogue. It certainly just, is. Just being that extra mana crystal up is so insane when you're going first, and we're seeing that in action right now. Yeah, yeah but Sylvanas usually is a perfect sap target. Yeah, right? that is like the number one sap target you yeah. have in this deck. So it's, it yeah, really you, makes you slow. Like yeah. You sap and then what? Well, he has two saps, so that's like okay. long enough for him it's, to set It's up different whatever. with Thorson, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I would say that's probably a much better play. <laughs> Wait, okay. See that? You see that Druid of the Flame? Value. That's value uh, right there. And now, it can, look at how well it's trading with this, this Belcher. Kind of. Oh, there you go. Easy trade. How about still Sorison did it his job, right? So yeah. it's okay. It's easy it's four eviscerate, cards. isn't it? Easy eviscerate and then double attack into the 2-2. Two -two. It's definitely the, uh, the eviscerate here. If you don't do this, you'd, you'd maybe haha, -ha, but I think I like the haha. -ha. No, you don't haha -ha here. Well, the taunt has value. Oh, he plays also the rogue. Like, uh, oh, my God. The pirate. Yeah, see, there you go. Wow. I like it. I guess I, I'm just a dummy. I think, I think it was fair. I think I it was, about, I think it was the, about even. The it, it just depends on how he wants to play the deck. If he thinks he needs the combo, haha, -ha, then you keep it. If not, then you use it. He, uh, thought, yeah. he thought he doesn't need it, so just use it. He can always choose. Look at that. He can choose like if he wants to go Wrath Cycle, Lore, or whether he wants to go Lore. <laughs> it, <it's super. laughs> doesn't Wrath Lore just sound a lot better? <laughs> no, it's just like, super nice to have these yeah. options like with the yeah. same card. Like usually having the same card twice in your hand is bad. Is minus one card. Yeah. But with Thor is not. Ah, uh, too bad that Doctor Boom wasn't in there earlier. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd say the Druid is doing extremely well, but uh, the Rogue has so many annoying turns here with two saps and a huge blade flurry. Yeah, but the Rogue is out of cards, right? Like yeah, uh, in theory. Much. I don't know. Like, would you bounce this this lore? I think you, uh, I think you sap and start doing a lot of damage. Yeah, I mean he has to because he's out of cards. Yeah. Like he has to go for it and hope. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh he's he actually doesn't it? go with yeah. sap. He's gonna he's kill that. It. Wow. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, with his face. Whoa. Okay. Uh, but now if only one tree comes, like. He has nothing. Mm. Mm. I'm not sure. Would you consider just clearing that out? I have a I have a card in mind that I think is pretty good. He's got his mouse over it right now. <laughs> Are you ready? Seven, eleven. Hmm. Yeah. You cannot die, right? <laughs> Most likely not, I would say. Mm. Eleven. Eleven, and you cannot die, you say it's yeah, six. He does. Oh, yeah. man. That's... That's a lot of damage. <laughs> the problem is when you Blade Flurry, you're going to lose every creature. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Those Boom Bots are going to be angry. Yeah. They don't take kindly to Blade Flurry. Maybe you can sap a Boom Bot. Maybe then you have a chance. <laughs> then you can't Blade Fury. <laughs> I guess he's got to kill this stuff. His hand is getting pretty weak, though. I think the 3-3 the three, three goes in the boom yeah. attack and just go for it. Yeah. <laughs> and you watch. The boom bots will hit face, I, and he'll draw a savage roar, and that will be the game. And you don't like, like no. zapping? It's not an option for you? No. 
I think you're just going to. Uh, I think lose sapping your is actually board. better because if you if you commit to the blade fury right now, there's like chances for lethal. There's a chance you have no minions left on the board. Yeah, but it's it's like plus three damage you deal yeah. with ESI, and I think in this situation you really need that. Yeah, and he has another sap, so. Yeah, exactly. And and you can still clear next turn mm. the minion he also plays. So it's it's a it's yeah I think it's definitely doable. Uh, yeah, okay. All right, this is the revenge of the boombots here. <laughs> yeah. What? One damage. Don't a worry, big, he's big got revenge. it. He's got it. Watch. Bam. <laughs> that sucked. Oh, man. Oh, good little tip. Oh, Tarzan, though. Uh. Mm -hmm. All right, well, if he draws a combo, that's it. Right now he's got uh, 8, 13. Yeah, 13, that's it. Mm. Mm. Nope. So I guess you try to turtle up. Can you turtle up? What do you What do you think about Ancient of Lore Heal? And um, like Big Game or something. Oh, well, why don't you like like simply playing uh, Sylvanas Belcher and trading? Oh yeah, five health's still good. Yeah, I mean, he just used a sap. You probably don't expect another sap three cards in hand. Yeah, I don't exactly. think he can possibly kill you. Yeah, and, and Sylvanas is protected behind Belcher. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you simply, I mean, how, how are you going to lose from that point? Mm -hmm. Like, even the Blade Fury only hits two minions. Like, it's kind of acceptable. Oh, but he's oh. actually going for you. <laughs> <play>. <laughs> All right. Almost. Well, yeah, you don't need to heal here. 16 is pretty safe against a rogue. Yeah. In general. Not always. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess he's going to have to clear here. Right? I don't. Do you want to use the sap here? <laughs> I don't think so. I How think many wanna... boom busts do you want to kill? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you just uh, kill this all off. And you'll have a couple little tokens to eat boom bots, too. Mm. You mean Violet Teacher? Uh, I think you Violet Teacher, Violet then Abyss. Eviscerate, then Blade Flurry. Yeah, yeah, of course. Because yeah. then you have yeah, three yeah. targets yeah, for yeah. boom bots, and maybe you're above 14. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Silly me. Attention, class. Um, yeah. And the combo's actually 15. I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. not sure what you can really draw. Like, I feel like Druid has to, like, have nothing in his hand. That has to be like five wild growths for him to take this because he needs to like draw a sprint and then have another turn. Yeah. I think I even like the Zep to be honest because really? he really has, it's just these few damage you need. Like the Eviscerate is for damage mm. and he's out of cards. So either he wins, I mean, okay, either he wins or he doesn't. I mean, it's obvious, but uh. um, it's these for damage he needs. All right, let's see it. Oh yeah, thank you very much. No, quite possible lethal. Yeah, I don't see lethal even with Doctor Boom. No, <laughs> again. I must save Rogue hold a tight seventeen. I missed that. I missed that. What was it? Oh, yeah, no, they were pretty bad. Oh wow, that sucked. <laughs> Those were weak as far as Boom Bots go. Mm -hmm. I mean, Merrick is so much behind tempo at this point that mm -hmm. he thinks either he can kill him right away, even if he draws sprint, it's still not enough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he just went for it, and of oh course, well. yeah, <laughs> of course it didn't go away. Oh, this card's not so good together. No. No. You basically do four damage. <laughs> uh. <laughs> this guy's toast. I think I would have gone this for two SI. Just to seem like you pulled off some. Yeah, combos. like I'm actually utilizing all my cards, you know? Hmm. Alright, Savage Roar, let's go. Is that enough? Oh, that's six, four, ten, six, seven, 11, 12, 13, 14. Seven plus six, nope. Uh, only 14. Oh, and Innervate. Yeah. Nope. Not quite, not quite. 
a super defensive play. Yeah. Yeah. That's all he needs to do is zero card rogue. I don't even know what rogue can possibly do here. It's not bad. Yeah. <laughs> that is. That's yeah, bad. That's uh that's not gonna do it. <laughs> yep. Yeah, Orange has this. The uh, Force of Nature hero power is uh, just enough to seal the game. Yep. So that puts, uh, that puts Orange actually ahead. Coming back from uh, a loss in the first game, he's uh, up two games. But again, I'm, like I keep seeing this. You know, the, I feel like the person who's ahead doesn't doesn't really fare that much better uh, in this conquest format. Well, you every one, one of your decks has to win, so yeah. kind of makes sense in that way. So we have, uh, of course, Rogue Warlock Druid left for Maverick, Rogue Mage for Orange. Is there an optimal pick for Orange here? I really feel like these are the, the two most like inconsistent decks so far this tournament. Mm -hmm. Because he can he didn't practice them that well, or because the build is not no, good? I, just, I, just because Rogue feels inconsistent from what we've seen. In the last two days, uh, Orange has been the only Rogue player that has actually been able to push it through that we've been casting on the first stream. Oh, okay. Yeah. All the other ones just lost 0-3 yeah, to like, Rogue. What? Yeah, they couldn't wow. win with Rogue. Yeah, we had, like, Rogue just wasn't successful the last couple days, yep. except for Orange. Uh, oh, and okay. his mage specifically. Yeah, and and the, the Temple Mage yeah. has been doing okay. But it, it, the Temple Mage has been a like little bit off. Like, it took three tries to win a game earlier. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, he lost three and then won, finally. Hmm. Yeah, in the previous round. I he thought like, he lost two and won his third try. No, he lost three wow. with Mage. I guess a lot is also depending what you hit with the flame can <laughs> yeah. and what you yeah. get with the unstables, right? Oh, yeah. of course. Like, <laughs> it's it's such a huge RNG. Yeah, you need that Mogre the Ogre with unstable. <laughs> flame can <laughs> is a really powerful card. It's just oh, quite, wow. quite bad against Look some at classes. That. Like, that was so needed. Yeah. It's so good. And we, we can also see that Merrick doesn't have any Molten, so he could get overrushed like simply by the tempo. Yeah, we'll see what he gets out of that unstable portal. Thank Leaf. Come on, Thank something Leaf. awesome. Ooh, River Crocodile. Yeah, uh, it's still a two drop. Not, it's actually not River Crocodile. What is it called? It's, it's Crocolisk. <laughs> River Crocolisk. There you go. Don't you have experience with this card? Uh, yeah, well, from Sunshine Hunter, yeah. <laughs> But that was the last time I saw it. So actually, I think this this Doesn't card. Miss redrop. Oh, he missed his redrop. Uh, this card was also in uh, a very early stage of Northshire Priest. The budget version ran River Croc because three health was good. Wow. And Dark Scale Healers for uh, Northshire activations. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy stuff. Well, looks here like. Uh, okay, gonna coin out coin out the uh, Twilight Trick. Really preferring uh, this this warlock hand at the moment, but he does have Doctor Boom over there. Oh, they both like have Doctor Boom actually, but one of them is gold. So mm, the fireball, by the way, helps also um, quite a lot to go above more uh, molten giant range. Mm -hmm. So that's also quite important. He's got a shadow flame here, right? This is like getting a little bit scary. I think a double taunt with the Sun Fury. Oh, I didn't see the Sun Fury. The yeah. coffee mug was actually in the way. <laughs> I'm not even. That's not even an excuse. That was actually true this time. No one believes you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Huh. I guess if you attack that twice, you can play the Azure Drake, which means I guess you play Azure Drake first. But why? No, you don't have a zero mana cost. I think you 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 do a Doomsayer check. Yeah, <laughs> you have to do Doomsayer checks. Oh, that no, egg but, isn't um, bad. You can also get like Mana Leech, and then you can play it. Oh, yeah. yeah. See. Also, uh, Nerubian uh, Weblord would be yeah. the same because it's a battle cry effect. Yeah. 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 Okay. So I guess two for one. Okay. Okay, fine. <laughs> I'm game. I like the strats. I love that he got the egg, by the way. Yeah, yeah. He has that Shadow Flame that eventually is going to be used. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's usually going to attack into the egg first. Yeah. Yeah, and then it will be used just yeah. the same. <laughs> Still. Like right now. If that could prevent two damage. Yeah. Pretty sick, right? No. No? Not even close. Aw. Oh, you're on double Shadow Flame. Whoa. I would mm. not even silence the egg. Yeah, good. I yeah. think that's correct. Totally. He's good. Um, I think I'd do a portal first. 
Check that portal. I guess maybe not, because you, you really need a ping, because I think silenced. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, okay. Play, mage. Yeah. yeah, I like ah, it. Yeah, yeah. That makes a lot of sense. And already, I mean, we have some of the cheap minions out of the hand of Warlock, so. Exactly. Mm. Especially the Watcher. That Mercy yeah. is pretty good here. You basically have to heal the play around, and if you heal, what? your play sucks. Oh, I guess the, the Argus? Mm. Okay. That does trade really well. Yeah. But it also wastes your last taunt activator. Well, last one in your hand, right? Yeah. So I'm sure he has another uh, Sun Fury. Good job, Crypt. Uh, Thank you. I mean, Merrick also didn't tab last turn. Which is also interesting to get to, to those molten giants. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, there's no super good shadow flame right now. Uh, None that I see. No. Well, he's got to be careful. Like here. It has to be two three into egg, three two into Doctor Boom, and then watch your shadow. Flame. That's actually what's happening. Yes, indeed. And that might. That might go terribly. Hate face equals game. Oh, that was one. actually fantastic. Wow. <laughs> that was a pretty good one. Yeah, that was a pretty good one. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. Check, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it's all right. One mana. Well, that three. card is on the low end of all right for Arena. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in perspective here. <laughs> this card's a bit better. Where's my GG? <laughs> Thank you. All right. Uh, I think Antonidas Frostbolt Face is just the play. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really good. He might actually just have to Shadow Flame that Dr. Boom then. He yeah, he has a like Shadow Flame antique heal bot if you do yeah. that. Wow. At least that does bring him right out of lethal, right? Yeah. Seventeen. Hmm. Against twelve in hand. Even a frostbolt top deck doesn't can win. Can Shadow Flame the antique heal bot? Even with the worst bombs ever, you, you can cannot still clear. because you have to target it, right? Oh wait, no, I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, yeah, you can shadow flame the anti kill bot. I think that's well, maybe the bombs are good. Hmm. Oh, yeah, you're right. I think I just shadow flame Doctor Boom. Forget yeah. it. I I think you just play it safe. You have so many cards in hand right now. Oh no, no, he wants to see how it's. Oh, oh wow. wow, you actually can wow. shadow flame anti kill bot. Yeah, that was a good boom bot right there. <laughs> That's so unfair. That's that is crazy. so unfair. Yeah. Oh. Because the thing is, if if Orange got the the good Doctor Boom RNG, yeah, yeah. he would have won immediately. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, he's got three fireballs, but it's still not enough because there's this there's another yeah. heal bot in yeah. hand. Yeah, but if we go for it, right? You play Shredder. Uh, okay, boom. I think you play Shredder and kill. Kill boom. Kill yeah, boom. you have to kill them. And you have to not use the fireball you just drew. That's super important. Yeah. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my oh, God. Wow. He's just going for it. Oh, wow. Well, the thing is, he doesn't put him on another heal bot in hand, of course. Yeah. No, but still, I mean, there's still Jiraxus. Yeah. And Dark Bomb. Yeah, you're right out of range now. Boy, oh, boy. <laughs> All right, watch his face. And it's lowered. Yep. <laughs> Drops his head down as that hail bot hits the play. Yeah, <laughs> I, I can feel it. Okay, well, it's not over yet. Yeah. Well, he can use that fireball now on <laughs> the Dr. Boom. Yeah. Maverick's hand is just uh, really crap right now. Like, big game that's not going to hit anything. Drake that's not very big and Mountain Giant that takes way too much of your turn to play. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's, I mean. I like that. Yeah, I like uh, Mountain yeah. Giant Owl now. 
kill the shredder off. Okay. I can do, I can do that. You could. So you could do the two clicks. I could do the two clicks. <laughs> <laughs> Even I could do that move. Whoa. I thought these are pros, man. If you could do the move. <laughs> I know. It's it's an easy game. Okay. Hmm. I'll actually use the Sepulcher there, okay. It's pretty smart. Like, if, if he doesn't kill the giant, he loses. If he kills the giant, you can't ping the Belcher. What yeah. What to do? Yeah. What to do? This is why you run one of Arcane Missiles. Arcane Explosion. Oh, yeah, that would work here, too. Arcane Missile is more versatile, though. Hmm. Oh, what? Oh. Oh. Sorry, we'll switch the screen to the other one real quick. I'll break the window real quick so the game keeps me in. I wonder. I think not attacking is the play here. Oh, he does. Oh, he, he already did. Okay. Man, I'm so good at predicting these plays. Wow. <laughs> Just really watch them impressive. happen and then make the same prediction. <laughs> There's stream delay, right? They yeah, won't know. Yeah, yeah they, that's how that works. No idea. So I'm just hearing noises. Oh, another mountain giant. The greatest draw on the deck right there. What is he looking for? Like Antonitis or something? No, oh, that's already been played. Oh, God, yeah, of course. Right. <laughs> this is not looking good still. You think he can get that two damage? Mm. There it is. Yeah. All right. Yep. Until that brings up a... Very, very, very uh, slow finish. Yeah. All right. So Warlock going to take that one. Two to two right now. Tied up. Yeah. So what... Rogue and Druid against win. Rogue and Mage. Rogue, Druid, Rogue, Mage. So the hey, at least the mage is zeroing in on the druid right now. That's really what he needs to do, I think. Yeah. Because I don't think that's going to beat the... I think you have to play the mage here, right? Mm. The mage still okay against the rogue. Do you think so? No, I mean, it depends. Okay. Like the mind games, right? Yeah. I, I think you just I think you just mage it up. I think you... Uh, yeah, I think I would play my mage here. Mm-hmm. I don't know there's a lot of mind games involved in this. Like, if the mage is too clear of a pick, then you pick the, the rogue. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what he goes for. How deep do your mind games run? Mage. <laughs> yeah, not too deep. <laughs> uh, not deep. <laughs> it's pretty straight up, actually. And, of course, that means that he wants to go with the rogue here. Get that win. All right. So, let's see here. What is he looking for against the, the Tempo Mage in the Mulligan? Mm. He's yeah, looking for like no, no garbage creatures yeah. because a lot of the Tempo comes from cheap spells. Mm. Like you you want backsteps, you want SIs, yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Preps. Right. Eviscerates. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you good. got it. Sick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got in the Mage hand. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. That Water that's Elemental really is a nice. real pain in the ass, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. That is so hard nice to curve kill. and everything. One, two, four, four. Rag. Hmm. Orange Orange could end up taking this. Maybe. I actually think it's uh it's looking good for the mage. Even though the rogue has the nice opener, I don't think it's nice enough. Yeah. Like to deal with this, what do you have to do? You have to like prep eviscerate then SI. That's that's ridiculous. Why I don't think he'll do that. <laughs> I don't think that is scary enough. Well, what do you do then? Do you just... Dagger pass. <laughs> do you just, like, prep SI? You have to deal with that mad scientist. You have to keep in mind that, you know, it'll spawn a mirror entity. And I think it's it's better... Because you have so few creatures in your deck. 
Like if it's not spawning on an on an SI seven, uh, what do you yeah. what do you spawn it on? Prep, uh, yeah, okay, okay. Prep SI, yeah, Prep no, SI no, would great. trigger that's the great. SI. Yeah, and you use the uh, remember, yeah, yeah. remember, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. Now we know. Yeah, now we know. <laughs> <laughs> now that's totally the play. You're very right about that. Yeah, I also like it. And then yeah, you can eviscerate. Until it gets you can eviscerate the SI that he gets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. It's perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Until he gets the counter spell. Mm -hmm. And then you're like, oh. <laughs> well, you you would know immediately. You'd have oh. immediate oh, satisfaction. Yeah. Oh, wow. He doesn't do it. Okay. I mean, yeah, that seems okay. But then, it like, how do you deal good. with Mirror Entity? Yeah. Well, I think what you do is you probably, like, drop your Azure and then prep of this, that. Mm. Right? Oof. You can backstab a Vista Water Elemental, uh, attack something with uh, the SI. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if I like into the worm like that like too too much. Because like, how do you deal again with the mirror entity if you don't? Have yeah, that, like because that you have so few creatures, the mirror entity still means the mage still has tempo right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> And it is mirror energy. It is, in fact. Because he does play one counter spell, right? Yeah. It's two energy, one counter spell that he runs. Yeah. Oh, Water Elemental again. Easy peasy. Yeah. Oh, that's good. You do you do prep SI into the Water yeah. Elemental. Yeah. Then eviscerate the Water Elemental, and then yeah. the SI trades for the SI. Yeah, that's really it's good. It's kind of like the same play you should have made earlier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it yeah. is. But he's like two life down now yeah. from where he would have been. Yeah. <laughs> this is actually, but it's actually like a little bit better because he actually gets to use the Abyss on the mm -hmm. the water elemental, which is a pain. Oh my god! Oh, he's not going to do it. Oh, what? The? That's kind of surprising. Whoa! I don't understand. Well, yeah, it's yeah. Okay. Maybe he he just doesn't see it. Yeah, he doesn't see it for sure. This is like like prep trades for a three works. three. That means it's better than backstab. Yeah. Or, Wouldn't you play a card better than backstab against the tempo mage? Yeah. Or his reasoning is, um, I mean, I can also very oh. see his prep is also very important for the yeah. auction. Right? Yeah. 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 So. Yeah, but it's tempo mage. Yeah, it's true. But what's it's, drawing cards going to do? Well, if he doesn't draw cards, cards, he's gonna lose. It's two cards with the auctioneer, so yeah. it's it's quite a lot. Mm. Okay, I actually I. That makes a lot more sense now. You can actually clear. That's so dumb. That's so good. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> and he can even clear the other one now. Yeah. <laughs> He's got the tempo now. That's, if you would the first RNG. attack, RNG. Then, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, you drew a backstab with an Azure Drake and then into the other basically backstab. That's that's pretty lucky. Yeah. But I mean now, as you can see, um, with using the prep, he would have been out of cards, right? So, I mean, he still needs to spell. Yeah, he would have been out of cards, but he had an SI on the board. He would have had an extra creature. Oh. Mm. Ah, oh, he has to, wow. <laughs> Alright, let's see it. He has to use it without the weapon. It's, it's silly. Yep. Oh boy. Which one will it go on? There's no good answer. No. It has to be Draco face. Yeah. Right. Oh, well, that's perfect, right? I mean, if the auction would have yeah. got the buff. Yeah. Also, the Wolf Rider is <laughs> pretty cool. Yeah, Wolf Rider is going to go for that auctioneer. Maybe. It's pretty great. Yeah. Oh, I was actually thinking if he plays the Wolf Rider, he has nothing that he can do. But as it turns out, there's plenty he can do. Because the Wolf Rider doesn't cost anything. <laughs> Wow. Yep. So this match is actually working out. Yep. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's it. There's like there's like no way you're coming back here. No. Nope. Your life is too low. <laughs> he saps the wolf rider. What? <laughs> I think it's just a rag turn. Yeah. I mean you either, either win or you win. win. Yeah. Do you win this turn or do you win because he concedes? This turn. This turn yeah. it is. 
Oh, the Tempo Mage picks up. Away. Yeah, that's. I was that was the most worrying thing. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Now Orange being uh, up this this last game means he only needs to win one, while um, Maverick has to win two. Yeah, he's going to be bringing his Rogue against Rogue and Druid. Which one do you pull first out of the Rogue and Druid to fight off Orange's Rogue? Don't think it matters. Whatever. The yeah, Rogues whatever. are a little bit different, huh? Yeah, whatever you feel best, right? Yeah. Uh, well, he doesn't have gadgets on in his. So. Yeah, gadgets and sucked so far. I've seen it three times, and all three times it was garbage. Yeah. So I don't. I don't know. Well, the rogue deck has been losing. I guess is a big part of that, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, we we kind of expected that. Yeah. This is actually like the. This is what we've been seeing a lot is just one deck losing three games for okay. a player. Mm -hmm. Like we saw that with and the we, we've also last seen that a lot with Rogue. <laughs> yeah, it's been it's been Rogue. It, uh, we had one day where Warrior was yeah, actually Warrior losing was a lot. losing in one day. Rogue was losing a lot in the other day. Demon Lock was losing a lot. And last Demon Lock night. was was yesterday's loser. Yeah. What's been today's loser? Uh, this Tempo Mage and Rogue, right? Yeah, so far. Yeah. Okay, Rogue v Rogue. Orange has an interesting start. It's not bad because usually minions are not played in the first few turns anyway. No. Yeah. It's it's not getting better though. <laughs> I mean it's four, five, six, so it's okay ish. Yeah. <laughs> I mean if you draw a three drop now and then the hand is perfect. Yeah, not counting on that. <laughs> Maverick has a very good hand against like a more aggressive opener, but there's no aggressive uh anything coming from Orange here. See here. Um, well, Orange is winning. Yeah, thirty I, to twenty-eight. I suppose. Yep. It's it's good to have like uh, what is that? <laughs> Three percent more life than your opponent. It's not bad. Sure. It's actually close to four percent. It's it's quite close. Uh oh, the first Shredder is down. Actually, no, it's, it's a lot more than that. Like, well, now Maverick's like winning because he has a Shredder out, okay? <laughs> yeah. You could uh, Vile Teacher backstab and I think that's, uh, Dagger. I, I think that's probably the dagger player. down. Because right? if, if you do Shredder, you, you kind of risk him having removal, which you usually have something that does three damage. Yeah. And then you might just get garbage out of your Shredder and lose the game because of it. <laughs> yeah, I would have preferred, I think, the, the Vile Teacher there, but... Well, what is the best response here? Maybe the the South Sea deckhand and then yeah. dagger, and then if he gets a two three, you use the shredder. If he gets a three two, you use the SI. That seems pretty good. You actually. might take a little bit more damage, but you can also first use the SI and the tech, right? Oh yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay, yeah. I think it's better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you're going to play that side no matter what, so it makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, that worked out actually really well. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, well Drake we is so strong. Yeah, we have the yeah, Drake play, but uh, it looks like he wants the, the Violet Teacher for the oh, Deadly Poison. Yeah, Deadly Poison. And, and then backstab the remainder. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. That If he gets something... Did he just attack the... Yeah. I thought for sure he'd go after the Shredder here. No faith. No, I guess not. The huh. poison of his own. Maverick does not have any strong plays here. I wonder. Well, he has a gadget on in his hand. Could have sworn that card wasn't supposed to be used ever again. Yeah, and that... that that line of thought seems to hold true so far in this match. So far. Yeah. This deck is uh, 0 and 3 so far. Yeah. I mean, it's also quite unlucky that he got Blood Mage, no spells. Yeah. And all the big guys, all the situational cards. Well, the situational cards is like two thirds of the deck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's see it, Shredder. Not bad. Yeah, that's not a bad one. It's pretty hard to remove him. Yep. It's going to have to be a Blade Fury or Vanish. <laughs> or a mini spell power uh, Vanish.
fan of knives. Mm. Tharson and backstab. Yeah. Yes. Mm. And get that zero cost spell out of there. <laughs> you can't make that any cheaper. <laughs> no. It's already too cheap. Yeah. yeah. Well, it looks quite fine. Yeah, that hand is looking much better now at those lower mana costs. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, there's three saps and two hands right now. Tharson of his own. It's <laughs> like sap costs way too much there, so. Okay. Well, now we're going to have, like, uh, that is obviously mm. getting sapped. Hmm. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's like no reason not to bring your other sap to zero, right? To go with that prep. Yeah, but like if we if we get a blade flurry here, it's gonna be really ugly. Yeah, that is true. And that is Whoa. not a blade fury. Well Oof. you can draw so many cards there. Oh my god, you're right. All right, you got. Look, this is going to look like an old miracle turn. You, you, yeah. If if you draw into prep blade flurry, you clean up. Yeah. Yeah. That's perfect. That would be insane. Also, like orange is done afterwards, right? So. Are you yeah. daggering first here? No, you're sapping, right? No. Or no, no, no. You have to dagger. Yeah. I think you mm -hmm. have to dagger, and you you oh, deadly, deadly poison. poison. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow. What? Okay. Huh. But then how do you use all those other spells now? Well, you'd be brave. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I think the dagger was a uh, bit better. Well, if he now gets the blade three, that would be such a punishment. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Oh, oh, my, man. God. oh my God. Here it comes. This. Oh, fan. Oh, but still, still, I mean. The fan doesn't actually do anything. <laughs> wow. Okay, well that I mean it was a good turn, but it that didn't was a do decent it. alternative to sprint. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh boy. That's rough. Yeah, it is. Look at that zero sap. Cheap. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Orange is about to take this. I mean, yeah, what, yeah. what can you possibly do? Uh, you can go back to the drawing board with Gadget's yeah. on Auctioneer, man. And that's that it. That is four losses yeah. for the Rogue deck. That completely tanked the series for Maverick. A yeah. lot of people were saying that he might win this tournament. But uh, that super, he's been super like consistent good. with all the other tanked games. Yeah. One deck that Look just that. can't make it work. Rogue loss against Hunter, Druid, Mage, and Rogue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you didn't believe in his Rogue and his Mage. And they scored insane. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Well, well, that will do it. That puts Orange in the finals, actually. Orange this guy just won IEM. Orange to the final, yeah. What the hell is with this kid? Seriously. It's perfect. <laughs> he is on fire right now. Ma Orange, Maverick's come fire on over. I have, I have a feeling Life Coach has advanced to the new number one of Gosu Gamers. <laughs> For Maverick tanking. <laughs> well, actually, Orange might be there now. I'm checking. You gotta go check how close he was. Yeah, check, check. Orange, you are in the finals of Sea Story Cup. Yes, apparently I am. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> you just won I am, right? Yeah, like it wasn't a different uh, orange. Uh, I'm a month a month ago or something, yeah. I think. Yeah. And now here you are again, like poised to win another gigantic Hearthstone land. Oh yeah, I actually <laughs> it, the, the thought hadn't hit me that uh, something that incredible could happen so soon, but at the moment it seems like a real possibility, and mm -hmm. I, the, the <laughs> I, I can't even express like how much I would want to win this uh, like this soon after Katowice. Yeah, doing really well. Yeah. Um, were you surprised to see Maverick's Rogue tank so hard? Yeah, a little. Like Rogue is a deck I I respect uh, very well, but that also means that I build my decks 
uh, to beat Rogue. Like I, I, since I played so much Rogue myself, I know exactly how to beat it. So it could be something there that I tweaked all of my decks a little extra to beat Rogue. Do you feel his version of Rogue was was something you can expect to play around, though? I mean, we haven't really seen Gadgets, gadgets and Rogue. Like, yeah, <laughs> Gadgets since and Rogue. GVG. Gadgets and Rogue was actually what I won uh, Katowice with. Okay. <laughs> so I'm uh, qu okay. quite glad to see him play that. That card. Uh, is so so good with uh, Emperor Tarasun, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. and he actually got to do that in the, the last game. Although that top deck Lofeb <laughs> helped me seal that game up. Mm. Uh, I I, I kind of like my version of Rogue a bit better, but his is certainly interesting and something I will mm. uh, try, try in the future. So far, uh, even though you haven't struggled with Rogue much, um, I think the decks that the deck the single deck that people have tanked with the most is rogue in the tournament so far mm, yeah that that might be true i think it was close and maverick just pushed it over here <laughs> yeah you're definitely right about yeah. that yeah. Uh, it seems like you're the only player that we've seen at least on this mainstream that has actually made rogue work so far yeah so congrats on that absolutely uh all right so you're in the finals who do you think you're going to face in the finals, and who would you prefer to face in the finals? Well, that's a question. Yeah, if we si take a look at si the six and Ostkaka is like a semifinal that I'm really, I'm, I'm really looking forward to see it. Both are players I deeply respect, and uh, as as players as in person, so both are both are good friends of mine. So I I, I can't say who I prefer or want to face. I, actually, I haven't. Uh, I haven't thought about that yet, but oh, okay. uh, I, can, I, I can promise you that it will be an incredible finals. They're also good friends of one another. Uh, Sixo said he, he actually kind of wants Oskaka to win. Yeah. Uh, well, we'll see the throws, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Six, uh, six and I actually, we, we took a walk uh, on, on the first day where he told me how much seats are actually meant to him and how mm -hmm. much he never wanted to win that tournament as much as he wanted to win this. Mm -hmm. So he is definitely going for it. Mm. Okay. Well... We'll, uh, we'll see that match pretty soon, and uh, we'll see more of you shortly after that in the final. Then. Good uh, stuff. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Excellent. Well, that was a very fun match. Looks like we got to get going on to the next match, the last semifinal of the day. Guys, go out, get on Twitter, Facebook, Reddit, whatever, you, wherever you go for Hearthstone, and let people know. Get in here. Everybody, get in here, <laughs> Cryptarian. Uh, let's, let's get a lot of people watching, because this is going to be absolutely insane. As Orange said... Ostkaka versus Sixo is amazing. These might not be yeah. the big names that you're used to, but it'll a lot be, of the ladder decks that you play against are theirs. It'll be a different type of match because they are each other's training partner. Yeah. yeah. So there's going to be more game than what we will even be able to realize. That's true. That is very true. Yeah. So, guys, we're going to jump to a quick commercial break. Thank you, Life Coach, and thank you, Orange. Uh, good luck in the finals.